you what's up welcome back to my channel this is gq i'm a lawyer and i make videos for budget friendly fashion personal financial investments and i give free legal advice so if you're interested with this kind of topic please consider subscribing also please don't forget to click the bell so that you will get notified each time i'm going to upload my videos so for today's video i'm going to review one of louis vuitton's vintage bags the Louis Vuitton Epilador St. Jack. So, let's get started. This is one of Louis Vuitton's vintage bags. It is beautiful red color Epilador St. Jacks in GM size. Why is said that this is a vintage bag? Because Louis Vuitton introduced this bag way back in 1985 and discontinued production in 2007. However, in 2015, Louis Vuitton included this bag in their summer collection and came up with variants of colors like red, yellow, blue, orange, green, purple, pink, white, brown, and black. But again, in 2017, Louis Vuitton discontinued its production. So you can no longer buy this Louis Vuitton bag Epileather St. Jacques in Louis Vuitton shops, but only you can find it in the pre love market or secondhand store. I was able to buy this bag from a Japanese online seller in the price of 26,000 pesos, including the shipping fees. So, why I bought this bag, despite the fact that this is a discontinued bag and it's already a vintage bag, because of its advantages. First, Okay, this is made of epileather, meaning to say that it is made of dyed materials. When it is made of dyed materials, um, this uh, leather is like, like the usual material of the Louis Vuitton, the coated canvas, and the bachetta, or which is made of cowhide leather trim, which will oxidize through constant usage. Meaning to say that from the beige light patina, it can turn to honey patina, dark patina, uh, medium patina to dark patina. So, it will not happen in epi leathers like this one. And also, because this is a dyed material, you can have it recolored in different spas or restoration shops. So, if you'd like it to be recolored from red to blue to white to brown to black, you can have it so, just bring it to any of those shops. And second, second advantage of this Epi leather St. Jack is that it's made of this grainy texture. So since it is um, grainy in texture, uh, it protects the bag from minor scratches and scuffings. And then aside from that also, this bag is super lightweight. So you can carry it in one of your fingers. So even though you fill in the bags with so many things, it will not be so heavy. Because if the bag is already so heavy, even if it is empty, it will contribute to the weight of the bag to your shoulder. So it's one of the advantages of this bag. And aside from the fact that it is lightweight, it is also super spacious. As you can see the shape of the bag, it is oval shaped at the bottom or the base which is a sm uh, little smaller and it goes wide going up so you can fill it so much with the bag in its upper portion and then it is also expandable as you can see the edge or the side of the bag that it can extend when you fill in so much inside this bag St. Jacques comes in two types of handle the short handle and the long handle since it also comes in three different sizes PM, MM, and GM. The PM or the PT model comes only in short strap, while the MM or the Moyen model and the GM or the Grand model comes in two different types of straps, the short straps and the long straps. Since this is a GM size, so it comes in a long strap or a long handle. Also, when you open this uh, St. Jacques, you can see that it has a single top zipper and a single puller, which you can use to open and close this bag. So when you open this, you can see the interior lining made of suede material. So it is smooth that you can touch and there's only one zipper pocket. Uh, and with this uh, heat stamp of Louis Vuitton. So you can see it's so spacious inside. And then... What else can you say about this Louis Vuitton Epi St. Jacques is that 
uh, and to be able to verify or determine whether this is an authentic bag all you have to do first is just you have to feel the material because it is an heavy leather you can feel that it is smooth it is lightweight but it is strong okay and then aside from that you can also notice the stitches and the edges it is very smooth and the stitches are evenly uh, distributed okay although it is hand stitch you can see some of the stitches slanting towards each other and the third one is that you can check the date code so how do you see the date code just at the back of the tail end of the zipper you can see there the date code engraved in it in this particular bag you can see that the date code is as um one nine one five meaning to say as it is made in france okay so as is one of the code in, for bags manufactured in france and then the first digit one and the third digit one corresponds to the 11th week of na, 1995 because the second digit and the fourth digit says it's nine five so 11th week of 1995 this bag was manufactured in france in the 11th week of 1995 Okay, what do I use to clean this bag? This bag is easy to clean because you can just use wipes to clean the outer surface and even the inner surface. But however, to be able to protect properly this type of bag because this is made of epi leather, there's a specific cleaner and protectant. You can use the dermo cleaner to clean the bag and the dermo protectant to, to make this bag shiny. Okay, to be able to make this bag soft and shiny by using this thermal protectant or you can even bring it to the spa if you want to louis vuitton comes in two different types of epi leather the first one is the classic epi leather and the second one is the electric epi leather so what's the difference between the two the classic epi leather is like this bag it is uh, not shiny and there is a grainy texture while the electric epi leather it is smooth it is shiny and it is like a patent leather so you can easily distinguish one from the other so guys if you want me to review any other bags which i have or you would like to suggest anything else please write down in the comment box and i'll be happy to read them thank you very much for watching this video and I hope I can see you again in my next video. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.